Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. When I talk so much, my throat tends to get dry, and I forgot to bring a drink in here with me when I came in. All right. Let's check, see what we have here. We, I know we need to, I know we need to move some of this stuff around. We can put that away. Put that moldy bread in there. Put the lead away. Well, actually, I'm going to go put the lead in the forge. Um, nitrate powder. Okay, still shovel. We're going to put down there because we're about to dig up all of those plants that are up here. And we're going to move those over on top of the church. I'm going to put the brass in the forge as well. Uh, let's put the shopping basket. Up. Well, we don't even need that shopping basket because we've got a better one in here. We've got one that's 320. Move this over here. All right. We've got coffee beans to that we can uh, plant over at the new house as well. We can pretty much take all of our food over to the over to the church. Is there anything else here we want to take over to the church right now? I think we have a beaker over there. I'm going to take this one just in case. Uh, let's see. Let me check. Let me check this other box. All right, we've got brass. Gunpowder can go up there with that gunpowder, and this coal can come over here for me to make more gunpowder. We've got gunpowder. We've got 128 paper. We need to make some buckshot out of this lead because we're going to need it. Mm. No, that's brass, but still. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Again, we haven't found the. We have not found the calipers yet, so we can't make the the steel crossbow bolts. So we'll make the rest of our iron ones there. Um, okay, let's go, let's go over here to the forges, and we're going to drop the brass in this one, and we're going to, okay, that's good, I like that. We'll get those in there. And then we'll come back and drop the brass over in there as well. Let's go ahead and put our lump of clay and our iron back in here. We're going to go ahead and put some more iron in there as well. We want to upgrade our, our log spikes over at the church, so we may not put all of that in there right now. 147 should be fine. We only have 16 lead. That's not good. We need to find some lead. Buckshot. How many can we make? Eight. Yeah, that's not very many. Not very many. Alright, we're going to pick all of our potatoes and we're going to take these over to the farm and replant them. We're not going to replant them here. have a place for them. We do now. We do now. Okay. Corn. Do we have room for that? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and pick the corn. sound of them, although I was safe in the house, so I was afraid I did not see that as a good way of playing, so quit for six months or so. 
I agree with you. I mean, the first time I played, I, I didn't know what I was doing. And again, that was why I made this series of tips and tricks here. But um, I didn't know what I was doing. And the first night in my first game, I spent in one of the little starter houses. And I had just gone into a bathroom and uh, crouched down in the bathroom. And I'm listening to all the sounds of the zombies outside. And my adrenaline's pumping. Um, I, I didn't do well at all in the first time I played. I was a little, um, I was a little frustrated because, again, I didn't know what I was doing. So, the more I learned about the game, the more it got, um, my, my adrenaline started going down less. That's not to say that it doesn't jump up, especially if I end up in the middle of a horde or something surprises me, but it's not quite as bad. The sounds on Horde Night are very distracting because they are very good. Whoever did the sound in this game deserves an award because they did a really good job on it. But I'm sorry to see that you quit for six months. I mean, that, hopefully the game has gotten better since the last time that you played it. Uh, they've got the tutorial in there now that it's a little help, but um, it's still not... In my opinion, it's still not enough to get a new player to really understand what's going on and what they need to be doing. And that's why I created this series of, of um, Twitch videos and YouTube videos that I'm using so that uh, it really does allow you to start the game, know a little bit about what you're doing, and not feel so frustrated at the very beginning. So I hope these help. I hope these videos are helping you. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. I enjoy making them. I enjoy playing the game. Uh, the game to me is just, it's one of the better ones that's out there. It really is. Alright, let me go back over here and I need to drop off some of this stuff for the moment. Just so I can, just so I can make some more buckshots. Let's get the gunpowder. We've got paper. We've got the buckshot. We're only going to be able to make five of them, but, or, no, eight of them, but hey, eight is better than nothing. Uh, I'm also going to make some gunpowder, and I can make 60 of those. Uh, let's put the coal, let's put the coal in here. All right, we didn't bring any rock over here with us, so we can't make any concrete right now. Can't really make any concrete right now, so we're just going to have to make do. We'll put the shotgun shells in here. I'm not going to leave them over here. We don't have a shotgun over here to use them in, so not a big deal. Uh, I want to go put that brass out in the, the forge. See if those... Yes, they have finished, so should be able to put the brass over in there. Um, casino tokens? I guess I could do those that way. Let's see in this one. Seventeen twenty cement. Yeah, that works for me. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with cement. Craft it. Excellent. So. We've got all that stuff going. What time is it? 2011, so that's fine. Yeah, the more you play it, the more, in my opinion, the more you play it, the, the less effect the sounds have on you. Um, still not to say that they're not scary, but they have less effect on you than they do in the beginning. Iron back in there now. Okay. 
right, let's go back over to the shed. Let's get the stuff out that we put back in here a minute ago, like the meat, um, potatoes. We want all that stuff out. Uh, go ahead and get the rest of the fertile dirt. Um, we don't have any regular bandages in here, do we? Um, I think I have repair kits over at the other location. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here, though, and tell it to repair the shotgun. But it's making gunpowder, so it's going to take a minute for that to kick in, I think. Uh, what else do we need to take with us? No problem. What else do we need to take with us here? That means the gunpowder finished. <sighs> Anything? I guess we can take the headlights with us, so if we find a battery, we can... We can make the lights over at the church instead of having to make them here. We have the blunderbuss and some blunderbuss ammo here, so that's fine. I actually probably need to make another. Um, I need to make another 16 blunderbuss ammo. And the reason I'm doing that is so I've got at least 20 blunderbuss ammo that I can leave here. And I'll use the blunderbuss if I need to to go back and get my pack if I die somewhere. <clears throat> Alright. So, there. Now we've got 20 blunderbuss ammo that we can leave here. Um, we're going to take the rest... No, not the rest of them, but we're going to take one more of these, or four, five more torches back over to the other location. Uh, cloth fragments we have, animal hides, we'll take those over to the old location, and the feathers we'll put on us, and plant fibers? Yeah, I guess we can take plant fibers with us as well. Alright, so... Let's see if I can get out of here before a screamer shows up this time. Last time I got caught by the screamer and I ended up having to fight a little mini horde. So that was not not pleasant. If we can get back over to the church here and check things out. Oh, who's that? I heard one. Crawler? Was it a crawler? Maybe a crawler. Anywho. I'm just going to run away from it and head on back over to the church for the moment. Twenty-one-hundred. Twenty-one-hundred. Um, I think I want to go plant the stuff up on the roof before I go down into the mine. Seems like that would be a smart idea. Um, potatoes. All right, how many? Yeah, I need to go drop some stuff off before I start doing this.
drop some stuff off in the chest if I had room in the chest. <sighs> oh boy. Put the feathers there. Put the meat away. Um, let me check to see what my food and water levels are. Hmm, I should probably drink a water. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's put the put the jar away. Uh, I've already got a beaker in there, so I don't need the beaker. Turns out I didn't need the beaker. And I had the beaker already over here. Wow. Just don't know what I'm doing, do I? All right, let's put the food away. And we're going to drop that. We don't care about it. Um, the potato seeds. Let's see. Ten potato plants. Each one gives me three potatoes. So, yeah. Recipes. Potato seeds. Ten. Crap. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with the corn. Recipes, corn seed, tin, craft. And we've got 23. So we're going to put, we're going to plant three coffee beans up there as well. Yeah, that should work. All right, so That gets the potatoes. Now let's get the corn. I should probably put my helmet on so I can see what I'm doing. And so you can see what I'm doing because... Ah, there we go. So, now we've got a row of potato plants and we have a row of corn plants going. And right in between the two of them, we are going to put some coffee beans. We're going to do... Well, we can't put it in between the two of them, but... coffee beans down on this end. Alright, there we go. We've got our garden started. Let's go put some things away. Give ourselves a little bit of room here. Uh, let's see. Probably need to get some log spikes going. What do we have in the way of skill points? We have 10, skin, 10 skill points available. Did I get the workbench last time I was in here? I don't know. Let's see. Yes, we do have the workbench. So we're going to go ahead and make a workbench if we can. Let's see what we need to make a workbench. 
We need 25 forged iron, five springs, and four short iron pipes. Do we have that stuff? Of course not. Yes, we do. 25 forged iron. Twenty-five forged iron, springs, short iron pipe. Crafted. Excellent. So, that should help us because we can start putting some of this stuff, like the wood, and get some stuff, um, get some stuff going over in the workbench, like the wood log spikes, because those will take a long time, and I don't want to really do those on my person. So let's put that away, and we'll put the gunpowder away. We don't need it with us down in the down in the hole down there. And we're gonna get these like this, and we got 58 seconds left to go on the um, on the workbench. And since we're going to be doing it that way, I think what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit more, make this a little bit wider here, since I'm going to have the workbench here. So that won't be too bad. We can handle that. All right. So now we should be able to put the workbench there once it's finished. I normally would not I normally would not have made this out this much here but again since I'm going to be putting the workbench here um, I want a little extra room to walk around it almost done almost ready on the workbench come on a little bit more there we go all right let's place the workbench Well, what am I doing wrong? Too close to it? Okay, that was weird. Made me put it out in the middle. All right, so log spikes, wood log spikes, we're going to make a hundred of them, craft. All right, I like that. We'll let that go, move the wood up there, put the coffee beans away, uh, put the paper away, put the plant fibers away. And put the beer, no, put the animal hides away. And put the beer away. Okay. All right. I think that leaves us where we need to be to go down and start some mining. <sighs> it's been a day or two since we've been down in the diggy diggy hole here. a while to get down here to the end of it too, doesn't it? We've been digging this one pretty good. All right, so let's put our marker back. Yeah, we're making good progress, so we just need to keep making good progress. <laughs> Welcome, Stephanie. You got here just in time for me to go down in the diggy diggy hole. I went over and uh, looted the cracker book again, looking for some 
Uh, I was hoping I was going to get the mini bike schematic, but I still didn't get it, so. Oh well. And how are you doing today? nice if I could hit a whole bunch of lead down here. Because lead is really the only thing that's keeping me from getting a lot of um, buckshot. Also, just FYI, we have a thunderstorm coming through, and although I have a battery backup of a UPS on my system, there is still the odd chance that we might lose power or lose connection, so... If I go off for a few minutes, it's probably because the power went out and came back on again. I'm doing wonderful. Got me a haircut. It seems weird being back in the plain vanilla game after playing the, uh, the multiplayer Val mod yesterday. It just seems like there's not near enough stuff to do in this one. That's not to say that I want to play Valmod by myself. I don't know that I would enjoy that. It really works well with a group of people because each person can specialize. But when you're trying to play it yourself, you kind of have to specialize in everything. And that's going to be tough to do in Valmod. good progress on this. It's uh, moving right along. We're probably about a third of the way over to the old building. Um, ultimately, I would like to get all the way over to the old building. Probably going to take us another four or five nights of mining like this, though. Once I get to the point where I can take these with one one whack of the pick, it's going to go a lot faster down here. But I don't know if I'll get that far along before I end up being there already. Oh, what did you think? I mean, that bow mod is, it's tough. You have to use skill points to pretty much buy the, the book for anything you want to do, and it makes it a lot tougher. I kind of like it, though. It, it also makes you have to really think about those skill points before you spend them. Digging a hole, dig, diggy hole, diggy, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy, diggy hole, digging a hole. That's your music for the day. I won't subject you to more of that. 